Hi, my name is David Siegel, and I'm working on a project called Gnome Do, which is a file launcher and music player and email sender and all sorts of crazy things for the uh, Gnome Linux desktop environment. And I want to show you some new features I'm working on that are really exciting and are coming out soon. The first feature I want to show is one that allows you to take any selected text, say in Firefox or OpenOffice, and work with it in GNOME Do. For example, you could take selected text and perform a Google search with it or define a word, which is what I'm going to show you. So in my contrived example, I'm reading an article on Wikipedia when I encounter a word that I don't know. I select it, bring up Do, choose the define command, and you'll see that uh, I have the option of defining the currently selected text. So all I do is hit enter and that'll define this word in the built-in GNOME dictionary and I can figure out everything I didn't know and it's just really easy to do this another example let's say I'm reading a tutorial on how to install a piece of software here's a video game and it tells me to run something in a terminal all I have to do is select it bring up do search for the currently selected text by typing SELE -E, and immediately I'm able to run it in a terminal because it sees that what I've selected is a command I hit enter and it runs this command to my default terminal and uh, I'm able to install this game but I don't really want to so I'm just going to say no. Just to show you how fast this is I'm going to define another word but I'm not going to do it slowly. I'm going to do it the speed I normally do it. It takes about a second. Another really exciting feature working its way into do very soon is uh, the third pane which um, Quicksilver users are familiar with. And what the third pane does is it lets you provide modifier items to a command. Um, and the best way to explain this is just to give a demonstration. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to open a file just with the open command, which will open it in its default program. I bring up do with command space, and I search for a Python file and I just select the open command and it opens it with gedit which is the default and if I want to open it with something else all I have to do is bring up the, fi the same file in the same way but use the open with command which accepts a modifier item and I use gvim and this opens the file in gvim instead so if I want to do something really weird like open an esoteric configuration file in OpenOffice I can search for it select my xorg file, search for open office word, hit enter, boom. It's really fast, really easy. The way I found that configuration file so fast is a nifty little command I just wrote called locate files and what it does is it wraps the locate command line tool to let you search for any file name on your computer in well under a second and I'll show you how powerful this command is by searching for all files with the word Kant in them. Uh, say I'm looking for some philosophy paper I've written. So all I do is I bring up do, type locate files to get the command, I type Kant, hit enter, and instantly it finds all of these files and I select the one I want, hit enter, and it opens it in open office. I don't think it could be much easier than this. Well, that's all I've got for now. Thanks for watching. You can check out the project at do.davebsd.com. You'll find uh, plugins there and instructions on how to download the project, install it, run it. Um, sorry I had to rush through some of this. Recording the screencast was really difficult and I had to record it and then do the voiceover afterwards. And it was a total mess. And um, I guess everything can't be as easy as GNOME you know, do, but... <laughs> Hopefully you got an idea of some of the stuff I'm working on and how cool it is, how excited I am about it, and please stay tuned. Thanks.